Welcome to Gray on Mac. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a rectangle and inside this rectangle is a blue circle and a secant to the circle and this secant has five units inside of the circle and three units on the outside of the circle up to an edge of this rectangle. And we see that this secant line bisects this uh, side of the rectangle, the length, and we are to find the area of the rectangle. Okay. So first thing that we have to do is we need to draw a line upwards from this intersection of the blue segment to the side of the rectangle and we draw a line upwards and we get past to this diameter of the circle upwards up to this side of the rectangle and it should be perpendicular and it should be perpendicular to this oh so next is we label this distance as this diameter to be d and this length to be l Okay, okay, so, so next is we draw next a line is we from take this intersection of the circle and this, angle. In this orange that this is segment angle is alpha and, and we connect it to the that angle alpha segment. And we notice we can that use the adjacent triangle over the hypothesis triangle and that would be a third side which is the diameter adjacent this is angle should be 90 degrees by Thales theorem over the hypotenuse which is the D. Okay, so next is we draw is a line from the intersection of the circle, the same angle alpha. And this we, I mean, we segment. are focusing on this triangle and this one. We connect it to the blue segment, and we notice that this triangle. We form a triangle, and since this triangle has a third side, which okay. so next is we consider this bigger right triangle. This bigger one. So next is we consider this bigger right triangle, this bigger one. It is actually similar to the previous smaller triangle, which is this smaller triangle. And big similar because they are both right triangles and one angle is actually alpha. And the third angle, of course, will be same also, congruent. So for that bigger triangle, the adjacent side is actually L plus B all over the hypotenuse, which is 3 plus 5 or 8. So we have L plus D times D is equal to 8 times 5, which is 40. So next is we write an equation about this area of the rectangle and that will be this dimension, this dimension, which is actually the diameter of the circle and that would be D times this dimension. This is actually L plus D, L plus D. And since we know that, value of L plus D times D, which is equal to 40 square units. And that is our answer. So the answer for our problem is the area is actually 40 square units. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.